Welcome to Tricks of the Devil, the show that tries to find out how many fleshes it takes to get rid of those prairie dogs left behind by Satan. Today we're talking about denying God to appear smart. I was at at t once witnessing to a guy who was working on my phone. And we got in a discussion. He told me about his dad. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But in our discussion, he said that he was willing to agree that there was a possibility that Jesus was real. Well, I thought, great. And all I had to do, he said, was in our conversation admit that there's a possibility that Jesus Christ is not real. This is a failed trick to make you appear as if you're even-handed, that you're reasonable, that you can have a a good discussion with somebody and be completely open-minded without even trying to act like you were better than they are. And so it seems so nice. It's so easy. It goes, fine, yeah, I will take that. But that's the trick. Even trying to get you to deny Jesus just a little, a passive denial is still a denial of Jesus. Let's read Matthew 10, 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him I also will deny before my Father in heaven. So what I did was send this guy an email explaining all the miracles I experienced with Jesus and everything I have known about him and all the times Jesus came through for me in my life. And I told him I could not even pretend to deny Jesus Christ and ask, act like he did not exist because I knew he did. He's real and he's in my life. So now we're at that moment in the show where we try to find out how many flushes it takes to get these prairie dogs to go down. Yep, that was five flushes. No courtesy flush this time, but it is a very, very bad trick. Talking to this individual at the AT&T store, he alluded to the fact that his dad once was a Christian and that another man asked him the same question and he lost his faith because of it. And that is sad. Let's read our closing verse. James 4, 7, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. These are just dumb, stupid, dirty tricks the devil tries to perform on us. Right? But we have to be on guard and we have to be aware. Do not deny Jesus. Not even a little. Don't even pretend to be even-handed when it comes to your faith in Jesus Christ. There's nothing. There's only one way, one truth, one life, and that's through Jesus Christ. So we can't even pretend, not for a second, that there is another way. 